Welcome. If you would like free alternative investment education, visit InsideTradeLLC.com, the worldwide leader in alternative investments. If you have been in the private placement business for a while, you probably know that there are plenty of acronyms associated with trade programs. As someone new to the business, you may hear phrases like ANTIN, PG, SBLC, PPP, DTC, CIS, POF, and say, what the heck are they talking about? Well, although it is good to know private placement lingo, cool sounding terms do not close deals. If you want to protect yourself and succeed in private placement, you must understand the two most important acronyms of all, the MT760 and MT799. Whether you are a client, broker, consultant, or even just a beginner, the MT760 and MT799 are two terms that are critical to learn inside and out. Many times, if you speak to brokers who claim to have trade programs, you can tell if their investment is real by asking just one question, explain the MT760 and MT799, and what are the risks and fees. If you get an answer that sounds similar to the explanation we give below, then you may want to dig a little deeper. If you don't recognize that these people are less educated than they claim, and may not be the best option. First things first, let's explain the definition and application of these terms in the modern day private placement business. The MT799 is a swift message used between banks to communicate in written form and is usually referred to as pre-advice. For example, Bank I may send one 799 to Bank B, stating, We confirm XXX amount on deposit and are ready to block this amount via M760 in favor of account XXX at your bank. Please confirm readiness and receipt. Typically, the MT799 will be needed directly before the MT760 is issued, and there may be small fees. Despite what most brokers may claim, the MT799 is not used as collateral and cannot be used to enter a private placement program. Now that we know about the MT799, let's take a look at its cousin, the Swift MT760. The MT760 is a swift message used to block funds in favor of someone, other than the owner, collateralizing the asset via this message, while allowing for loans and liens against it. For example, most private placements require the investor to send a MT760 to the trader's account, allowing the trader to use this SWIFT as a collateral guarantee for their bank. Again, despite what many brokers may claim, this is not everything you need to know about the MT760. Now that you do know the definitions and applications, let's cover the key points no one ever brings up about the MT760. The fees and the risks. First and foremost, the fees for blocking a large amount of funds via MT760 can be more than you would expect. In most cases, your bank will charge one to two of the value being blocked for this service. For example, on a $100 million bank instrument, this can be one to two million dollars that the owner must come out of their pocket with, unless they have a special relationship with their bank. You may say to yourself, wow, that is a lot to spend on fees for something I'm not sure will work. Well, even more importantly, let's take a look at the risks if you did move forward. If you complete the MT760 and pay the fees, you should observe everything very closely from that point on. Once the MT760 has hit the account of the trader, the line of credit should become available within 72 hours. At that time, the trader should be able to make their first bank instrument purchase and give you a definite timeline for your first profit disbursement. You may say, why do I need to watch this process so closely? Well, here is the part that most brokers don't tell their clients. 
When blocked in someone else's favor, the M760 collateralizes assets in the form of a swift guarantee, and by doing so, allows the beneficiary to draw credit against it. This means, if the loan to the trader was defaulted on, the bank would seize the collateral, and you would be out of your money. Though this scenario is possible, I would consider it rare for two reasons. In today's world, no bank will loan millions of dollars to someone they haven't vetted, no matter what collateral is on hand. Second, the MT760 is quite rare, and this usually draws attention to the beneficiary of the SWIFT. In summary, the M760 can be safe, or it can blow up in your face. As always, the key is having a real trader, and most importantly, getting your payments as scheduled. If the trader makes a statement about yields, and a timeline, they must, always, keep in line with their promises. Over the thousands of transactions we have been involved in, the only ones that have closed have been smooth from the start, with no hiccups. Remember, both risk and fees are a part of blocking funds via MT760. In addition, by understanding the MT760 and MT799, you can clear out the time wasting brokers from your network, and work more efficiently towards your goals. Let's face it. Very few people know as much as you do after watching this video. Use it to your advantage to qualify the private placement investments that you come across, and it will make life a lot easier. Ask yourself, if someone can't explain the MT760 and MT799 in thorough detail, do you think they have ever closed a deal? Then ask yourself, do I want to risk millions with someone that has never been successful? It's not hard to see, education is the key. I hope you enjoyed this video, for more free videos on education check out InsideTradeLLC.com, your online source for free alternative investment education.